and ultimately we need to be recording here. Oh yeah, Deadpool is awesome. Dead Deadpool is awesome. It, you know, it, it's foul language, but if you're into just brute, vulgar violence, just violence for the sake of violence, Deadpool is hilarious. <laughs> I, you know, I probably shouldn't admit that I'm into that kind of thing, but Deadpool is a, a blast. <laughs> and I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait for February. Okay. Uh, I, think, I think he's a... Uh, he's probably a bit of a, of a copy of Death Strike. Death Strike's the DC comic that's been around for a very, very long time. And Death Strike doesn't, doesn't talk to the audience. Death Strike doesn't have the sarcasm. But Deadpool is awesome. You know, Gingela, not everybody loves everything I love. I, I'm just going to lay that out there right now. Not everybody <laughs> loves everything I love. But uh, <laughs> the one on the one on Google Plus, though, the Deadpool Daily, they at least keep that uh, PG. There's no there's no cursing, and there's no nudity or anything. But I, Sure hope there is in the movie. All right, so let's see. Where are we? Oh, that's right. We're going <laughs> to... Just remember, Thala, there is nothing adult about Deadpool. You know, they say adult language. What they really mean is extremely juvenile language. Because uh, I promise he's not talking about mortgage refis. He's... <laughs> just, just know that I warned you. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Let's see, what was I, where, what were we doing? Oh, that's right, we're at the Artistic Biker Live. Let's see, I have my book, I have my brushes, I have paints, uh, scrap paper, because scrap paper is important. I have water, dogs have allergies. Kids aren't going to be here tonight because uh, the wife is putting her classroom together. Uh, school starts a week from Monday, the 17th. School starts a week from Monday, and she's in panic mode because all the meetings start next week. And so she's not going to have any time next week to get her, her classroom ready, so she's got to do it this week. <coughs> and she put it off, and she put it off, and she put it off, and she put it off. I don't really think she actually finished cleaning her room before she left. But because it's the art classroom, I don't think anybody knows. <coughs> so anyway, now she's got to get it straightened back up because they have, a, they have an open house. Uh, they have an open house on Thursday night. Is it tonight or is it? I think the open house is tonight, so she's she's in a lot of trouble. Anyways, <laughs> as much trouble as an art teacher can get into. All the other teachers walk into the building all prim and proper. It's a Catholic school. They all walk in all prim and proper. And good morning, class. And yada, yada, yada. And whack with the ruler on the knuckles and the whole works. And my wife, the art teacher, has got tattoos, got her hair in a bun with paintbrushes poking in and out of them. And you're lucky if she's not covered in paint. I'm just saying. All right. That's not what we're journaling about this week. This week, the, uh, what is it, Lassie? What is it? Timmy fell down the well. Oh, my goodness. Um, no, there's really a dog. Look. It's the butter thieving dog. <laughs> but, uh, okay, this week the wife and I have started learning Spanish. We have taken on books on tape. And we bought we bought a, a Spanish while you drive set of CD books on tape kind of thing. We bought two sets so we can both do it. Uh, she wants no Spanish for the next time she goes to Spain. Plus, she thinks having a strong foundation in Spanish will help her mostly around here in Texas. But then when she goes to Italy, she'll have something to kind of help bridge the gap. And when she goes to France, France, when she goes to French. Uh, there, there's no com there's no comparison there. She'll just have to speak Spanish, and they'll just have to make fun of her. So, uh, so she wanted to learn Spanish for that. Me, my day job takes me around a lot of Spanish speaking people, and I would really like to know what they're saying without making them feel bad for not being able to communicate with me, and and me feel bad for not being able to communicate with them. So that said, we've been we've been using books on tape to study Spanish. So that's kind of what I want to journal about. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's uh, let's do the intro to the YouTube page, and let's get started. 
Hey, peoples! <laughs> Welcome to this week's edition of the Artistic Biker. Last time on the Artistic Biker, we had been to SeaWorld. <laughs> we went to SeaWorld, we saw the whales, we saw the seals, and we saw the, the otters, and we saw the, we saw the dolphins, and we saw the, the manatees. No, no, we didn't see any manatees. What do, we see? what do you call them things? It doesn't matter. We saw them. Sea life. It was cool. I mean, most of the time, though, we, we just get spent being splashed by whale snot. And, and, and everybody loves being... It's not SeaWorld if you're not hit by whale snot. Anyway, so that was last week. I'm the killer whale trainer, and you are not. That was last week. This week, however, the wife and I have been learning Spanish, trying to learn Spanish, by listening to books on tape and by listening to a uh, Spanish as you drive CD in the car. In the car. And uh, I want to journal a little bit about that. And I want to ask you if you've ever learned anything by books on tape. What were your favorite ones? And uh, if you've ever had this problem when you get to where you're going and you're not finished with your lesson or with your story yet, do you still drive around the block and listen to the end like you do when you're reading a regular book? Anyway. Uh, leave comments below. Uh, with that, though, let's just turn the page and get started. Yay! All right. So yeah, you know, it's not our first book on tape. We've done we've done books on tape before, not not as a journal page, uh, the, but the wife and I have uh, because you know in Oklahoma you spend a lot of time driving. You spend a lot of time driving. You know. In rural Oklahoma, anyway, um, it is where I grew up. Is uh, you know, it was thirty minutes outside of town, and it was a you know, it was a mile to the nearest neighbor. So if, if you wanted a hamburger, if you wanted anything, you you were looking at a two-hour process just going to town, getting a hamburger, and coming back. There was no. Uh, yeah, and there was no bringing food home from town because, you know, it was cold by the time you got there. So, driving a lot of long distances like that, you learn to appreciate things like, you know, books on tape. Because, you know, even my mom growing up, when I grew up, my mom lived, worked in Oklahoma City. We lived in rural Oklahoma, you know, and that took, her, that took her an hour and a half to get to work every morning with traffic. Which, you know, you could live inside downtown Houston. You could live inside Houston and get from one side of Houston to the other. And it's going to take you an hour and a half to do that. We were driving from, you know, uh, 60 miles away, south central rural Oklahoma to northern Oklahoma City. We were driving 60. She was driving 60 miles away. So, you know, she still, she was listening to books on tape back then, too. And you, I've had a lot of fun listening to books on tape. My Spanish, though, wow, my Spanish is really weak. I, uh, you know, I took three years of Spanish. Hey, change your camera, dude. Can you not see the book? Are you just checking, Zandra? <laughs> I, took, I took three years of Spanish in high school, and I took, you know, four semesters of Spanish in college, which, you know, you, you'd think that I could speak a little Spanish, but... Basically, all I know is, you know, I know how to ask where the bathroom is, I know how to order a beer, and I know how to make really pretty girls want to slap me really hard. So, I'm going to uh, dry this real quick. We will take a little break, and we'll be right back. When you guys, when you guys miss the live show, I'm asking the people in the chat. When you when you guys miss the live show, do you watch the recordings on UStream or do you watch the the, the longies on YouTube? Ew. Okay, so. You guys go to the Ustream and watch it. I haven't changed anything since last week. Athala watches the YouTube longies. Athala, do you prefer, on the longies, do you prefer warts and all? Or do you prefer when I edit out all the dead stuff? I had to, that one week, we were having some struggles pulling up uh, Carrie's 
submission for what's on your easel. And during the struggle, I tried to log into Twitter, and Twitter posted my 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 uh, phone number. Uh, and when Twitter posted my phone number on the screen, uh, I couldn't I couldn't leave that, so I deleted it. I deleted it off of uh, YouTube. I mean, I deleted it off of Ustream, and then I edited it all out so that I could post it to YouTube. I think my alcohol has been de denatured. Okay, let's just pick another color to add here then. Yeah, I like I like it on YouTube too. I don't the when when you leave it on Ustream, you know, you get the commercial. I don't get the use the commercials. I pay the, the three bucks a month to, to keep from getting the commercials. Uh, but I like I like it on YouTube. One of the things I like about YouTube is when it gets to the really boring parts I can speed it up. <laughs> Let's try that alcohol business. Yep, I think my alcohol has been denatured. All right, how are we doing on time? Oh, we're way past time. Okay, I'm gonna dry this real quick. You know what, I tell you what, let's just set this aside. This needs more on it though. What else, let's dry it just a little bit. See, I like this. I like the swirly effects. See, but when I when I edit it, I always edit out the hair dryer. Exactly. Hi, Kimberly. Molly Stanford's back. Exactly, Ada Louise. Ada Louise is in the chat room saying that when she watches it on YouTube, she can add it to a playlist. And I like that. I like, I like being able to add it to, to, the, to the watch later, even just the watch later list, because the, you, can, you can fix the watch later list as a playlist and uh, set it up. You know, when I'm in my hotel room, unpacking and getting everything up, I can, uh, I can actually use my phone and broadcast from my phone to the television in the room and I can put the and I can uh, I can play the playlist uh, and it'll play all of the videos that I've missed I like that I don't want to edit the videos if everybody would rather watch them does everybody have their masks on? I don't want to edit the videos if everybody would rather watch them uh, with all the warts. But at the same time I can edit the videos once and I can get the longy, the shorty, and the I can get the longy, the quiche, and the uh, what's on your easel video out all at the same time. So ooh, that's almost Halloween. -y. We're we're almost to the Halloween -y season. We're gonna rip some pages out of this book. Look here. We get we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six spreads left in this book. How many weeks are left? Do, do, do. Let me see a calendar. One, two, three, four. Gets us to September 3rd. Five, six. Gets us to September 17th. The 24th, we do a flip through. And then October 1st is a new journal. But see, then we don't get to start the Halloween season on time. Because then we miss a week of the Halloween season. We look at the Halloween season. You can't see what I'm looking at. Let me show you. Well, you pull up your own calendar. <laughs> this week we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five Thursdays in 
October, so we can have five Halloween seasons. So let me, let's go back to where we were. Today's Thursday. One, two, three, four gets us to September 3rd. Five, six, seven. We finish up on September 24th. Uh, but then we, but then you do the flip through on the first, and then you make the new journal on the eighth, and we've now we've missed two weeks of the Halloween season. So we may glue some pages together or rip some out. <laughs> anyway, let's set this aside. Let's do what's on your easel. No kids. Nobody here to sing with me. I know, right, Carrie? Halloweeny season. What's on your easel? What's on your easel? What's on your easel today? All right. Oh, Ginger, I have the same problem with the peanut butter. Open a jar of peanut butter. She's in the chat room saying she's got to put the peanut butter away. I have the exact same problem. I open that peanut butter up and I love it. All right, so we had a couple of easels from Pamela French last week that uh, didn't show up until after the show. So let's start there. Pamela French, pastel, what would that say? Pastel tiny? Hang on. Yeah, pastel tiny. I wonder how tiny it is. I don't see it. I don't see a size reference. I wonder how tiny it is. I don't see anything on there that gives me any kind of reference as to how big that is. But it's pastel, and it's tiny. Lovely little flowers. Wonder. Wonder if it's supposed to be rotated this way. Still don't see any. Still don't see any size reference. But. Lovely little flowers. All right. And then Family French sends pastel 11 and a half by 18, Mount Capulan, New Mexico. Woohoo! Look, there's a little house down here where I want to live next to the whole hillside over here, Mount Capulan, with the sun setting and bats. I don't think those are bats. I think those are clouds with texture. Nice. Very nice, Pamela. Is Pamela here tonight? Can we ask her anything about it? Pamela, no. Pamela's not here. Pamela, Pamela forgets what day of the week it is. Pamela. Pamela, Pamela forgets what day of the week it is. But look at this. If you zoom in, look at some of the details she puts in this. Keep in mind, it's just 11 and a half by 18. So look, she's got a fire in the window here. Just something you can see through the window of the house. Trees. Love it. Love it. Good stuff, Pamela. It does. It looks quite, quite lovely. All right, so that was Pamela French. And then Carrie Love... Postcards to send to my art friends. Woo! Every possibility begins with to the courage imagine. What? Oh, every possibility begins with to the courage imagine. Every possibility begins with the courage to imagine. Okay, yeah, I, I gotta follow it. Nice. I love these cute little things. And here's a songbird. What's the songbird say? Songbird. The real voyage of discovery consists not in seeing new landscapes, but in having new eyes. Like when I got my glasses. And life is what happens to us while we're busy making other plans. That was John Lennon. Is that a finch? What kind of bird is that? These are just lovely. I like this music, the music, music notes. Are these Darcy stamps, by the way? Are just, it's a 
chickadee. It's not a, what I call it? I don't know, it's chickadee. Nice, Carrie. Very nice. The lighter ones have my hand card stamps. Okay, those are those are your stamps, not not uh, not Darcy stamps. Our sexy redheaded Darcy has stamps. The bird is on tissue. Okay, and then Zandra, what's on your easel? Playing with watercolor paints in my watercolor journal, she says. So let's see. Uh, this. This to me looks like it's part mermaid. You can tell because she's naked on top. And she has fishnet. There she is sideways. Oh, yeah. Redhead gingers. Mermaids that all be ginger. Part of your world. I want to be where people see what the thing to call you this thing I don't know the words but I'm gonna sing this song <laughs> nice mermaids good job good job Zandra and my easel I've been traveling again so my easel is still very very limited to daily sketches but I want I just want to demonstrate that I'm trying to keep up with my daily sketches so I've got my I've got my girlies that I have to be careful what I show because the bot is there a bot there is a bot the bot will kick me off if he thinks it's naked and then you know my uh, 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 value sketches that I uh, just a little quick three minute value sketches. So you got your three minute value sketch and you got your five to ten minute figure sketch. And you know, if that's all I do every day, at least it's something putting putting uh, putting pencil to paper. Uh, hopefully I can get back to where see because I have this kit that I made up that I'm carrying with me now. I have this kit that I made up that I'm carrying with me now where I have my I have a, a small set of acrylics card to spread it around in, brushes, a spray bottle, a little bottle of gesso, some Mod Podge, and various other tools and sundries, and then cards to paint on. So I made this kit up, but I've got to, uh, I've got to work it into my, I just have to work it into my routine so that, do you like my purse? I just have to work work it into my routine. This isn't my purse. I'll show you my purse. I, I just have to work it into my routine so that I can actually get something done. There's my purse, 3 <laughs> That's That's where it keeps my stuff. See, that's where I keep my, my tubes that I'm using for my for my value sketches. So yeah, I'm uh, trying to get back and trying to trying to develop some habits. Trying to develop some habits where I watercolor every day, where I acrylic paint every day, where and where I do some daily sketches. But I've got to figure out how to work it into my routine. Anyway, that is what was on my easel. That is what was on your easel. If you would like to be a part of what's on your easel, simply send an email to blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel. We'll use your works to inspire other people to do something because that's, that's really what this is all about is getting people up and doing stuff. And I love to see what you're, what you're doing. I love to show it off to everyone, to, to uh, everyone else. That said, this is not quite dry. So we're going to dry this just a little bit and we'll take a little break and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to show you a secret. This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite things about this. 
One of my favorite, favorite, favorite things. No, my porch is not air conditioned. It's very, very hot back here. Uh, see if we can catch that in the light. You see that effect right there, that, that uh, marbling effect right there? That is what happens when spray paint settles on a puddle of water and the puddle of water dries out from underneath it. It gives that marbling effect. And I love, love, love it. Lerves it. Lerves it. Here. You can see it in other places. Lerves it. Lerves it. If you do it on a canvas, if you do it on a canvas, you have to seal it because the uh, the uh, uh, binder in the spray paint dried before it ever touched the paper. So if you ever do it, if you ever do it on a canvas, you have to remember to seal it before you uh, before you're done, or it'll flake off. By lerves that effect, absolutely lerves that effect. Okay, so moving along. Let's see. I, need... I think you would think that I would have a pencil, something as basic as a pencil. I'm in the wrong pants. Shouldn't even be wearing pants. What's wrong with this picture? I have the wrong pants. Nope, I don't want those kind of eyes. I want these eyes. Like that. Okay. Watercolors. Spritz my watercolors. I forgot to spritz my watercolors. I hate when that happens. Okay, let's use, let's just use this brush. And we'll start with, uh, we'll start with a little bit of blue. And we'll spread that around so that I Get some shadow effects going on there. And then a little touch of orange. Coming in around like this. For skin tones, like so. Same black, a little bit of brown, and then glasses. Like that. Let's put a touch of blue in the glasses. I like that. That'll work. 
Now can you hear the lawnmower? The dog can hear the lawnmower. Set that one aside, and then can't talk. Do the same thing. Take a little blue, come around here, come around here, come around here, a little bit of blue, a little bit of blue, come around here, come around here, a little bit of orange. Shirt. She would normally wear a red shirt, wouldn't she? She'll hate me because she'll say it's pink. Actually, she'll probably come back in with a whole dark blue thing right here. Yeah, that's more her style. And then the red. So, back to the books on tape thing. You know, uh, the, the wife and I, the first, the first books on tape when we were dating, the first books on tape we did was uh, uh, Servant of the Bones uh, by Ann Rice. And you know how, you know how when you're, when you're reading a book in bed or or in the bathtub, how you have to uh, when you get to the good part, how you can't just stop. You know, it doesn't matter if you're supposed to get out of bed. It doesn't matter if you're supposed to if you're supposed to be going to bed. It doesn't matter if if uh, if uh, you're supposed to be getting in the bathtub. It doesn't matter if you're supposed to be getting out of the bathtub. And with books on tape, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter if you're where you're supposed to be or not. Uh, you get to the good part. You know, there's nothing you can do. You have to, you know, with us, we, were, we ended up driving around Tulsa. We were on our way to a party, and we ended up driving uh, driving around Tulsa till the, till, the, till the good part of the book ended so that we could, before we went to our party, people would say, hey, you're late. No, I'm not. We just had to, we just had to finish this. We just had to finish this uh, this one chapter in our book, right? <laughs> All right, where's my brush pen? Who made off with my brush pen? I love my brush pen. So we're having the same problem with the with the Spanish thing. You know, you're you're trying to you're trying to follow the lesson, and you know you get right to the part you've been trying to get to. It's time to get out of the car, and we just can't uh, just can't seem to get out of the car. Not that that has anything to do with what we're journaling about. It's just you know, it's funny to me.
I draw teeth in, but I, you know, I don't really have any. <laughs> Darcy, I can't, can't believe that you would suggest that my beautiful young bride would do anything improprietous on a date with me prior to being married she would never she was a good young Catholic girl she would never have done anything improprietous with me on a date in a car in Tulsa where no one could see us Oh, did I fall leave or did she fall off? I can't believe you would even suggest that about my beautiful young bride. She's a saint. <laughs> I can tell you she is not the same person now she was when we were dating. She is so having children has ruined her. <laughs> she's she's all you know before she was all Cussing up a blue string, smoking a smoking a cigarette, drinking drinking a beer for breakfast, smoking a cigarette. Yeah, I like that. Before she was all, you know, let's watch the death and violence movies, and now she's all, don't we have anything Disney? We have kids. That's why there's chloroform. Thanks, Jay. Because I went to the Bill Cosby School of Dating, the uh, <laughs> uh, I still get excited when I hear the ripping of duct tape. <laughs> you are wrong. You're just wrong, Jay. There's something wrong with you. There we go. You know what I'm going to do before I do anything else with that, though? I'm going to spray some gloss coat on it. If I can find the gloss coat. There it is. Because I don't want... I don't want the watercolor to smear when I paint on it. So, let that dry. I'll do this one. I should show you. I should have. I should have pulled up my high school yearbook. I was the mascot in Spanish club. I dressed up like Juan Valdez for the uh, senior pictures for the for the uh, uh, yearbook. And I should have should have dug all that out so I could show you. Because Juan Valdez, I forget, there was a comedian in the 80s. I forget who it was. It might have been Robin Williams talking about how Juan Valdez was his hero because all of the other people in Colombia. Juan Valdez gets up every morning, rides out with his donkey. Hi, Green Glams. Juan, Juan Valdez gets up every morning, rides out with his donkey, picking only the, the best and freshest coffee beans so we can have so we can have fresh coffee with our breakfast, so we can only have only the best Colombian coffee. Every morning, hand over hand, picking them coffee beans. 
all of his other friends. He's stepping over the cocaine and the marijuana growing naturally down there. All of his all of his other friends are driving up, honking their horns in their Mercedes. Beep beep, hey, Juan, how's the Boudreau? <laughs> Juan Valdez just honestly working every day, picking coffee beans. So I dressed up as Juan Valdez for the for the uh, senior pictures. <laughs> let me let me dry this real quick. <laughs> Oh yes, there you go, that's, that's date night, right, right there, wow, don't see that, that may be my new screensaver. This needs a sombrero. That's what that needs. Uh, pink cup. Here's a pink cup. Here's some. Yellow paint. Here's some orange paint. Here's some purple paint. And then let's take this brush. All right, where is it? Where is it? There. Take these two like this. And I'll just Give that a little shading there. Maybe some cross hatching. Nobody will ever recognize that that's a sombrero but me. That's okay. It's my bug. Man, how about some headphones? Some headphones for her, too. How are we doing on time? Good Lord, it's already 7.30. Sombrero. Sombrero. dog really does not like the neighbor mowing. Got to make sure not to get the let the paint dry on your ink brush. I try to give it kind of a wide berth.
Alright. This really needs to be darker. Okay. How are we doing? How are we, do we already look and see how we're doing on time? Hi, Pam Callahan. Sneaking in. Looks like a cheesy puff and a Dorito. It does look like a cheesy puff and a Dorito. It does. You know what, I need a smaller brush. I don't want the great big one. I don't want the little bitty one. I want the one that's just right. Good luck with that, she said. Alright, that's what she said. But, ah! Let's see here. Can't talk, Arting. Now this down here should say are not standing out like they should. There. Ah. It's not very Mexicali. It's not very... I don't know, is a book on tapey? Does it get the point across? El queso es viejo y mojoso. Tell you what, this book on tape is way more exciting than the, than the first time we tried to learn a language through books on tape. You know, the first time we tried to learn a language through books on tape was uh, when girl two was little, 
and we were really little, just born actually, and we were trying to teach her baby sign language. And so we got the, the Joy of Sign as a book on tape. And that, that was like an hour and a half of... Really hard to follow. <sighs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. You know that this is my favorite night of the week when I get to art, when I get to art with my besties. Uh, I look forward to it every week. So uh, be sure and tune in next week. Same Artistic Biker time, same Artistic Biker channel. Uh, we're going to try and get my mom on Skype next time so that she can be part of it because I, I miss having her to chat back. I miss having her, having her to chat back and forth with me. Boudreau, it says, El queso es viejo y mojoso. And if you're a fan of Encino Man from the 80s, uh, the cheese is old and moldy. <laughs> El queso es viejo y mojoso. That's from Encino Man. In, in, in Encino Man, uh, when they were trying, they were taking Spanish in class, and then they then they skip school and go to a bar, and it's the only it's a Spanish bar, an Hispanic bar, and it's the only Spanish the Encino Man knows. What what's his name? The guy that played Encino Man. Uh, he also played uh, in the Mummy series. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on I'm drawing a blank on what his name is, but you know the the. He's dancing with with the dude's girl, and uh, the the uh, uh, the little little Hispanic dude gets all mad up and get, gets all up in his face and hey you hey I say you're messing with my lady man and starts getting all up in his face and and uh, the, the 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 guy looks down at him and says the only Spanish he knows El queso es viejo y mojoso you're right man you're right she ain't worth it <coughs> which is you know, why the wife is glaring at me. Anyway, uh, obscure references, right? So anyway, uh, yes, trying to learn a little Spanish in the car. So yeah, Brandon Frazier, Brandon, Brandon Frazier, that's who I was trying to think of. Thanks, Jay. I, I knew you'd have a crush on him. Um, again, so, you know I look forward to this every week I, I get when I get to art with my butt, when I get to art with my besties. Uh, again, we're going to try and get the, get the, the mom, art mom on Skype. Uh, Biker's mom, sorry, Biker's mom on Skype, so she can join us. And we should have a teacher's update from the wife. So hopefully next Thursday she'll, do, she'll be done with her meetings and she can come give us a she can come give us a, a teacher's update uh, of what's going on with her with her class and with her school. Uh, so guys, thank you so much. Mwah. Be sure and tune in next week. Same artistic biker time, same artistic biker channel. And then we dance and we dance until we figure out who Jay has not bribed to tell me that they don't see me dancing because oh, you can't see me twerking but I got them flapping back there okay Kia sees me dancing bye everybody pink rosado rosado blue azul azul Green. Verde. Verde. Gray. Gris. Gris. Brown. Marron. Marron. Beige. Beige. Beige.